Hi friends, hope you are doing great and uh, welcome to my channel, The Cloud Security Guy, where I talk about things like cloud security, artificial intelligence, you know, and general cyber security advice. So in this week's video, I wanted to do something a little bit more practical, not just talk about theoretical concepts, you know, especially I wanted to talk about how you can improve uh, your cloud security skills. You know, I've talked about before about how you can get like uh, cloud security certifications. You can see the videos on my channel, right, about how to get cloud security certifications, get certified. But what about like practical skills? You know, uh, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Like what if you want to have like a proper skills within AWS or Azure or Google Cloud. So this is what I want to focus on today. And let's start with the biggest cloud provider, which is, of course, you know, like uh, AWS. Like, okay, even if you get certified, how, how do you start if you want to secure your AWS environment and you're a complete beginner? Even if you've gotten certified, where would you start? Like, which service would you choose and all that, right? So this is where it becomes a big challenge for a lot of security professionals, right? So if you take a look at this, like this is just a test environment I created, like a sandbox. And you can look at this uh, from the security perspective here. Now, you can see how many security services are there, you know. Now, where, where do you start with? Okay, this is where the problem comes in. A lot of people want to know where do I start with, which do I start with, should I start with artifact, audit manager, cloud system. If you just want to secure your environment, you know, you've been given an AWS account. You want to secure it. How, how do you start? Where do you start? So this is where the problem comes in a lot of times. So this is what I wanted to talk about today. How to practically... Uh, like uh, secure your environment and put in some good controls and improve your security posture, okay? So the first step I would want you to do is, I want you to create an AWS free tier account. In case you're not aware, it is just like a, uh, just like the name says, it is a completely free, like you get a free, completely free AWS account. You can explore the products and services. If you don't have access to an AWS sandbox, AWS gives you this and you have three types of services. You have 12 months completely free. Okay, so one year you'll get these free. You can see the limits which are there. But as long as you stay with them, you do not have to pay a single uh, money. As some which are always free. You can filter it here, okay? So these are always free, okay? And some are trials. So after like, maybe like a one, two months, for the, like you can say 40 hours, 15 days. Most of them, just for learning security, um, most of them you don't need to take a look at, okay? So, But, but this is a very, very good way to get like practical hands-on experience, especially with an AWS, right? So th that is the first step. I want you to create like an AWS free tier account. It will probably ask for your payment details. It won't charge you anything until you, unless you go over the free tier and usually it warns you, okay? So once you've done this, now this is what it looks like, right? We have an AWS free tier account. So this is what I was talking about. Now, uh, supposing I were to tell you, okay, I want you to secure this account. Where do you start with? Okay. Uh, you could go to the internet and try to download some, but there are so many guides and all that. Now, what's the best way to do about it? So the one I always recommend and one which really helps me out a lot, of course, is uh, this one, which is the security. This is the AWS workshop. You can go there. This is the AWS workshops are basically their workshops created by the teams at Amazon. Okay. They are hands-on. They are not theoretical. They will tell you step by step how to like uh, do a particular action. And in this case, we are worried about security, right? So let's get, take a look and look for security. So yeah, there is one. Yeah, I want to focus on this, the security baseline workshop. This is the one I was talking about. This is an excellent workshop. What it does, it, it, it goes step by step and it teaches you how to secure your environment. Okay, it will teach you in a very, very practical way how to improve the security of your environment. If you click here, so this is what it looks like. Yeah, you can. So what it does is you can take a look. So this is like I said, it, it, it baselines your environment and it starts from the basics and it goes on to the complex. So you, you can see there, this is like uh, uh, the first it will tell you how to secure your environment. Okay, you can see with all the screenshots, it will teach you how to check your root account, how to set up your emails, how to set your account settings. Then it will go on to the protecting the user, how to create the human identities, turn on cloud trail, prevent public bucket, configure the alarms, you know, for billing alarm, root alarm, de deleting unused VPCs, uh, like enabling trusted advisor, guard duty. Then it'll go on to your workloads, okay? How to tighten your permissions. For, and it goes on to level three, le like advanced protections, right? So it's a very, very excellent workshop. I mean, honestly, you do it step by step within the sandbox that you have. Believe me, you'll get a much, much better idea of AWS security and you'll understand how to uh, what do you call implemented? Okay. 
all of those things are, and it, they've been made by users within AWS, okay, by professionals within AWS. So th that gives you even better understanding of what, like what to do and everything. So this is what I want you to start with. Uh, honestly, this is the one I always recommend. So make a make a uh, what do you call free tier account, a sandbox to play around with, and start with the AWS security baseline. Start practicing it. Start going hands on on it. Unless you do it hands on, you will not learn. I'm hundred percent telling you that. Even if you get certified, you will not learn unless you do it hands on. That is the nature of the. That is the nature of most things in cyber security. So this is very very important, guys. Okay. So okay. Once you've done that. The other thing is you should learn how to do an AWS security assessment, right? Automatically. And the best tool for doing that is AWS. There's a tool, there's a tool which I mentioned before, which is called Prowler. Yeah, this one. So I've already made a video on that. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but uh, Prowler is basically, basically completely open source AWS security assessment tool. It does a complete security assessment of your AWS environment. It'll go inside. It'll tell you it's very easy to do. I have a complete video on that. I'll link it somewhere here and you can take a look at that. So provided you do that, you'll get a complete security report of very, it, it generates an awesome report. You can take a look at that. This is what it looks like, right? So it's pretty cool how it works and it gives you a full, uh, what do you call complete uh, report of what are the security findings. This is what it looks like in HTML format. It will give you a CSV output also, and you can start using that. So it's a very, very powerful tool. Start using that. It will really help you out. So three steps, guys. Okay. First step is, uh, what do you call create an AWS free tier account? Okay, go ahead, create an AWS free tier account. Once you have that, you have an up and down, go to the AWS workshops and to this one, the security baseline workshop, which is here. Okay, once you have that and you've completed this uh, fully and you're very, very much, uh, what do you call, comfortable with it, I want you to download Prowler and start running around some scans, see what you can do with it, okay? Once you've done that, you want to get some hands-on experience, I would recommend just going to a marketplace like Fiverr or Upwork and volunteering your services, right? Make it dirt cheap, $5, and you will do an AWS security assessment. You will find people reaching out to you and you can put those skills, actually you can make some money out of it and get some hands-on experience, okay? So these are the steps, guys. Uh, I'm gonna make a full course on AWS security also, but uh, honestly, the you, you can do it yourself. There's nothing secret about it. Everything is there for you. Okay, but uh, start learning uh, if you want to, if you're serious about starting AWS security this year, this is the best way to do it. And this is what I would recommend. I hope this was useful to you guys. Okay, uh, take a look. Let me know in the comments section if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.